Hi everybody, today, we're going to see Apple mask. Make sure to watch until end, because it's the mask given only to Apple employee. You're watching Techno Trends. Check this out. The Apple engineers went to the drawing board to build a better mask Apple actually designed their very own mask for their employees in store to wear. They've actually got a couple different versions, but this is kind of the standard. This is what most employees will be wearing. It's what most employees of Apple will have. This in front of me is the official Apple mask this is the reusable face mask in medium large. For more information please visit willcomeforward.apple.com. What was crazy to me is on the packaging which is all very Apple-esque as you can tell we have. What looks like a serial number definitely an item number and a lot number and production date, so just like everything else Apple tremendously detailed stuff over here, and an unboxing experience that looks like it's kind of beyond what you would expect for a reusable face mask even on the back designed by Apple in California assembled in China. You've got to get that in there on every single Apple product this has to be one of the most unusual Apple unboxing videos I've ever done. So we pop into it and first thing we see is a little attachment a little adapter actually to hold the mask on at the back of the head. You don't see this on your typical cheap mask. I actually have some of those here as well for comparison this little piece. How do I even how does that come out of there? So there's two of these little guys, and this is gonna go on the back side of the mask to hold it on more securely than I suppose just using your ears, or do you even use your ears at all? This is the packaging for the mask now each one of these boxes. Which an employee would receive would actually include what looks like five of these masks, and they are not one-time use in fact there's some rules around how frequently these would be used for an Apple employee, each mask is capable of being worn five times for up to eight hours each time, so it's supposed to be washed once every eight hours if you're a part-time Apple employee. You wouldn't have to wash it every single shift if you were a full-time Apple employee. You would wash it after every single shift five times would be the maximum for usage, so it is disposable. It's reusable and disposable. It's reusable to a point, and I guess that just keeps it just makes sure that the quality is still there that the functionality is still there without breaking down. There's a little line here I see look of course Apple packaging here. Apple claims and I read this on the original report that this they believe this is a superior mask for daily wear, compared to the cheapo kind of surgical mask, and it definitely I mean it looks cool. That's for sure. So it has what looks to be an option here I believe. I could just hook this around my ears or and then I could hook this piece at the back side, let's see this part folds up. This part folds down. Oh wow alright. Let me try this out here and this is going to go around the ears, and I guess there's a pinch point here. Okay so as you can tell I mean that's a different fit than what you get out of a typical surgical mask. It's much more structured in fact so. I'm going to pull one of these out for comparison real quick. So you can see this is just a relatively flimsy sheet, whereas this one has well it has three pieces to it. There's the center piece here, and then there's a piece that reaches under my chin of course the beard is not ideal, but it reaches under the chin, and then a separate piece which comes up and extends over the nose, and then you have this pinch point at the top. Here it feels uh, it feels very secure as far as breathing is concerned, I'd say it's fairly comparable to this, but I definitely feel more sealed off than a standard surgical mask. Now of course you can also take this piece here and hook it onto the back side of this loop. The strap is actually quite elastic these ear pieces unlike these which are a well they're elastic too. But sometimes you're a little concerned about the connection point here that it could rip off. I've yanked at a few of these, and then this pops off this feels like it can deal with more tension. If you really want to pull it tight and that's sort of what I have there now that's like it's like wearing a hat or something it feels it's not going anywhere. It's on there it certainly gives you a far more secure fit on the mask, so this is what every Apple employee is going to be wearing. It's what they're going to have so yeah I mean it does seem like an improved mask. It's kind of cool to see a design team look at a product that's not typical for them. Obviously Apple is more likely to be looking at phone designs and other gadgets and electronics that you may perceive as being more complex, but it is interesting to see Apple's take on the typical disposable, although semi-reusable mask, when you compare it to the standard, which we see absolutely everywhere now. If I go ahead and just put this unit on so now I'm getting way more air into this one compared to the Apple, and even if you listen to me talking it's far less muffled. I think this thing is much more serious, and look it even sort of maintains its structure once you've taken it off I can actually breathe a little bit easier in this one, but it's likely, because it's not making a tight seal. Here part of that is my beard, but it's also the fit of the mask. It's just nowhere near as tight as the official Apple mask so have they improved it. I would say, so I say, that this thing is an improvement over this however, if you were to purchase this, if Apple was to sell this, you would have to assume it would be far more expensive than this 20 bucks for like 50 of these Apple would have to sell that one for more presumably, if they did sell it. It's a filter it's definitely a filter, and it's thicker, and you know people out there. They've posted tests of attempting, to blow through different mask material to like blow out a lighter or a candle or something. This one I mean it's just based on my initial exposure here, but this one not anything. There is no. 
there's zero air getting through that, so they don't really share exactly what the capability of this filter is like in 3 meters terms and 95 or something like that, but based on my impression here this is a pretty substantial filter. Alright so the last piece we want to take a look at over here is the clear mask which is the other option for Apple employees, and of course theirs wouldn't ship like this is from the company directly supplying Apple. It's a totally different thing altogether apparently it's anti-fog fluid resistant improved comfort and breathability. Now this is a much different approach than the style that comes from over the head and wraps around which leaves a lot of gap under your chin this one aims to actually seal a little bit under the chin there. That's what we're doing have I got this correct right now these things are wild that is that's futuristic looking dot so I could tighten this up to improve. This seal around the bottom and that actually does a pretty good job of that I'm probably more partial to this style of mask. You can feel the moisture inside of here, but these things are important at least in the sense of no I feel like my voice is muffled quite a bit in this, but the voice being muffled is not a big deal, or I should say it's a trade-off, because the importance of these masks is for communication and interaction with people who rely on lip reading. This isn't going to help you if every employee in the store is wearing this one, there's no lips available for communication for those that require it, and this is going to allow for that, so presumably there will be some mix of these styles of masks inside of the Apple store. I don't know if it's an option for each employee to choose, or if some are designated to wear this style and others this style, but these apparently are the two masks that are going to be popping up. That you're going to see in the Apple store. They will be the official Apple masks so what can I say is it an improved design? Yeah I think so. I don't know how feasible it is at scale if some other company wanted to go out and attempt to bring this a similar design to this to the market to sell to people in giant boxes. I don't know how feasible it is, but this is offer me this is an improvement. Oh I don't have glasses here is the other advantage here is that it will not fog up glasses if you're wearing glasses because of the tight seal here in the construction. I have sunglasses okay fine I guess that would work check me out I can still fog these up. Yeah no problem maybe I got to go tighter let's see that's what they say hold up I can go tighter fixed. Yep if you do the nose seal nice and tight you can stop you can stop some of the fog from coming up so anyway there it is it's the official apple mask never thought I'd see the day but it just seems to be the way it is in 2020 and as I mentioned the most interesting part for me is the idea of a company at the scale of apple with the design team that apple has to just see their different approach to a product that's ubiquitous. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of amazing technology that changed the world and much more. Check out the first link in the description. A playlist of my top tech videos of trending technology which changed the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.